one of the co-sponsors and the president is here with us tonight. And it is my privilege and great honor to present and introduce Dr. Michael Jenkins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Bishop Noel Jones for helping to lead this revival. It starts with me movement. Give him a hand, praise. And as he mentioned, we were together with Mother Moon last Monday on Veterans Day, and he gave a message of inspiration, talking about how we must come together as one and that we must love the Lord and practice the teachings of the Lord. He's a courageous man of God. He goes by the Holy Spirit. He goes by what Jesus teaches. Because of that, he stood with Mother Moon, and now thousands of pastors across this country are coming together, men and women of God of every race and every background. And we're saying yes to Jesus. And Jesus prayed in Matthew, and he prayed in John, chapter 17, 21, that all may be one. That's why we have the privilege of being here together with Dr. Cecil Riley. And also, we're here with Dr. Cecil Murray, my dear brother, Dr. Cecil Murray. When LA was in trouble, it was First AME led by Dr. Murray that brought peace in our community. We are here with Bishop Noel Jones because God has anointed him to bring the body of Christ together. But the Jesus we're talking about is the Jesus that we all know at, at City of Refuge. It's the Jesus of love. Jesus has no boundaries. We love the Jews. We love the Muslims. We love the Hindus, the Buddhists. And that's what happened in New York. And you know what? When Bishop Jones preached, they all said, Amen. Because of love. Because God's truth is also universal. I'm so grateful to be here today with CARP. And I'd like to just mention Sarah Tacker, Jermaine Bishop, and Joshua Holmes. Please stand up. You're awesome. Awesome. The leadership of CARP. Wow. Wow. And also, the ACLC that's a co-sponsor here. We've got Dr. Benson, Nicholas Benson and his wife, Dr. Ava Benson, the co-chairman of ACLC, along with Reverend Susan Mansell. Give them a hand, praise. We've got Reverend Michael Dickerson, and also Dr. Young Tak Young, the bishop of this whole region. And Reverend Frank from San Diego, and Reverend Larry Krishnick, the bishop of all of the Western part of the United States for ACLC and Stephen Jarrett and a new pastor just joined today Bishop Jones it wasn't just today but Bishop Smith flew down from Oregon it's because he heard we were going to be here with you Bishop Smith all right and of course we've got Reverend David Rendell the Bishop of Chicago he's here hallelujah you know in Nassau Coliseum 20,000 gathered last Monday we lifted up the veterans, and we lifted up the name of Jesus, and we gathered all of God's children together. Because remember when Jesus saw the Samaritan, and he saw the religious leader walk by. So he didn't worry about whether somebody had the right religion or not. What he worried about were you living the teachings of God. Therefore, Jesus can praise the Samaritan, because it was correct and true. If you live right by the Lord, the Lord's going to bless you. When you study Jesus' teachings, you'll learn that there is a way that we can prove ourselves. I learned so much from Bishop Jones this morning, Bishop. This morning, the teaching was awesome. I, I want to study more because he brings in such light into the scriptures because the scriptures are limitless. There's no limit. Amen. But there's something in the scriptures that Jesus told us about. Sometimes when the Holy Spirit gets on Bishop Jones, the very same scripture we're reading, suddenly new wine comes out. Ooh, man. 
He's talking about Abraham today. And Sarah, given new wine. Sometimes when new wine comes out, we go, uh-oh, I don't know about that. I never heard that before. But what did Jesus say to do with new wine? Put it in new wineskins. Don't put it in old wineskins, Dr. Murray, right? Reverend Grace, thank you for being with us. Don't put it in old wineskins. Why? Because it will be destroyed. The new wine will, will get tangled up with the old skin, and it will spoil, and the wineskin will burst. Do you have a new wine skin tonight in your heart and your mind? Because Bishop Jones is going to bring some new wine. That's why he can stand with Mother Moon. That's why Pastor Barrett got up and said, Mother Moon is the only begotten daughter of God. What does that mean? That means that Jesus is really the only begotten son. If you become one with Jesus, you become the only begotten. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you going to be the only begotten of your family? Amen. And Father and Mother Moon were blessed by Jesus, anointed by Jesus, to take the grace of Jesus Christ. It's now a new wine is coming. we got to take that grace and not receive it as an individual. Dr. Benson, you know about this. we got to receive it as a family. Somehow the grace, Dr. Murray, is expanding from the individual through Bishop Jones and the anointed of God. It's going to cover the family. If we share the holy wine together as one cup, we're supposed to share the blood of Christ, right? In remembrance of Him. Drink, eat His body, drink His blood. What does that mean? It's the lineage of God. The lineage of God is now being established on earth. Jesus didn't do it 2,000 years ago because the people weren't ready. But they're ready now, Bishop. You got them ready. They're ready now. Why? Jesus said He was coming again. Do you believe that? When is He coming? Now! He's coming now. Believe me, that's why all the tribulation is on the land. Amen? City of Refuge already knows all this. When I step into City of Refuge, I feel like I'm stepping into the future. Because you're already way down the road. Because we can become perfected. That's what Bishop Jones is teaching us. We can become perfected. Is that new wine? Yeah, I didn't know I could be perfected. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. You heard that a million times, right? But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 48, you must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. How are you going to become perfect? You've got to be born again. You've got to receive Jesus into your life and believe in your Lord and Savior. However, now we're stepping into a new age. New wine is flowing. And that new wine says, hey, not only I step into this age alone, but i got to step into this age with my partner. Who's my partner? My partner's my spouse. Bishop Jones, I'm madly in love with my wife. But it didn't happen easy. It didn't happen easy. So we're a marriage movement. We're a marriage movement in the image of God. God made man in his own image. Male and female made me down. So young people, we're counting on you, Carp. You are the ones that got inspired with Peace starts with me. And Bishop Jones took it and said, Revival starts with me. And now the young people of City of Refuge and many churches here and the colleges throughout L.A. and Orange County are coming together and saying yes to Jesus and we're going to change the world. We're going to change the world. How are we going to change the world? By loving everybody. We're going to love everybody. Right? I'm going to love the Democrats. I'm going to love the Republicans. Ow, ow, yes. Love. That doesn't mean you have to become one to love them. Just love them. Love them. Love them. Love your enemy. That's the way to perfection. Do what Jesus said. Love your enemy, whoever they are. That's why ACLC, Bishop Jones, Carp, the young people are moving. We're not moving into politics. Politics, God bless them all. We pray for them all. Somebody's got to pass the legislation to get the money together to fix the roads. Amen. To build our schools and all that. But that is not going to save our families. That will not save our families. They don't have the anointing and the power to save the family. And that's not their job, so don't complain about it. The only people that can do that 
catch up are the pastors, the religious leaders, the clergy, the anointed of God, and the body of Christ. That's it. That's the truth. Love your enemy. So think about which politician you hate the most. Don't say their name. Don't say their name. And just think about it. I'm going to love them. That doesn't mean you have to become one. Just love them because you're not you're not part of that. You're not politician. You're a God. You're Christ representative. You're above politics. That's why ACLC and CARP is going to move with Bishop Jones above politics. That's why Mother Moon just left for Africa, just landed in Zimbabwe, and now she's speaking with the president there. And forty thousand are bishop gathering with Bishop Dunga, who's an apostolic leader. 40,000 he brought together bishop and they're going to have a marriage rededication where the grace of Jesus is going to go to the couple. And then she's moving on to South Africa and going to Cape Town. And 250 congressmen from all 54 nations of Africa are gathering there. So you know about it now. But I want you to know Bishop Jones is the one that stood up. He's not afraid. He doesn't care what people say. He's listening to the Lord. Therefore, love your enemy and also build your family. Everybody say that, build my family. Lord, build my family. So therefore, young people, you have to be strong in your faith, but you also have to be married. It's important to have marriage. Then the children have more support. Then you show the image of God to the children. And brothers and sisters, don't worry if it didn't work. If it didn't work before, that time wasn't right. Until Jesus comes again, Marriage can never be secured. He already said it can't happen in heaven. There's no marriage in heaven. But here's some new wine for you. Jesus didn't say there will never be marriage in heaven, did he? No. But what's bound on earth is bound in heaven. Until marriage occurs properly on the earth, it can't be in heaven. And now that's why God is anointing Father and Mother Moon. And he's anointing all the pastors to stand as true representatives of Jesus, as true parents before the community, and asking you to be true parents to all your relatives. And bless your tribe, bless your people. Remember young people, finally, I was just supposed to give some remarks here. These are remarks. Young people, college students, Clark, Jermaine, all of our leadership, Reverend Tankin, stand up. He's one of the ACLC co-chairmen here, too. And Nancy, where's Nancy? Naoko, where are you? She's already working on the next event. But she's in love, madly in love with the City of Refuge and Bishop Jones. But remember this, young people. Don't think you can't do it, or don't think you can't change this world. It does, never happens from just the top or from big, big political powers. It happens from God's people. It happens from a seed. How old was Martin Luther King, Dr. Murray, in Montgomery when he started the bus boycott? 26? He was 26! Some of you card people are 22, 19, 20, 20, 26! Dr. King stood up. He stood up and did God's will. He was a young man. That's why don't worry about your age. If God gets a hold of you, Nothing can stop you. Amen. That's why I ask you, love everybody. And stand up, young people. Just want I want you to know the anointing of God, the churches, if they come together, we're going to see a phenomenon of what exactly the same thing that happened in Israel 4,000 years ago when Joshua rocked, walked around the walls of Jericho. You remember that? Joshua walked around the walls of Jericho. And what happened? They walked around in unity. They didn't fight. They didn't squabble. The 12 tribes united. If the body of Christ unites with Bishop Jones and the preachers of ACLC and Father and Mother Moon, then we're going to march around the world. We're going to march around L.A. We're going to march around New York. And we're going to say, shout, thus saith the Lord. And the walls will come tumbling down. That's the word of God. The walls are going to come tumbling down. The walls between all races, all religions, and all peoples. Joshua Holmes, stand up. Joshua, where are you? And also Jermaine, stand up. Where are you? Where are you? Hiding? Joshua, just like Joshua 4,000 years ago. Lead us on now and shout. 
If we bring unity, God cannot do anything but bless, bless, bless your family, your community. Everything will change. Nobody believed that Martin Luther King could change anything. And he didn't even want to do it. He was in Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. He didn't even want to do it. He didn't want to be a, a he didn't even want to be a minister. He wanted to be a professor. My Lord. But somehow God touched him. Amen. I believe God has touched Bishop Noel Jones in a way that's very significant for God's providence. That's why we're here today. So I love you, family, and we love you. And you're going to hear a message tonight that's going to take us onto the kingdom. I love you, family. God bless you all. And on behalf of Bishop Kim and Dr. Busey, we bless this occasion. Amen. Thank you.